So given the recent return to restrictions, stepping up of restrictions, lockdown three here in London where I find myself, plenty of other examples across the world of, of further lockdown measures being taken, how far out have you had to push your recovery thinking? Well, the, the baseline uh, for the industry, uh, which has been effectively outlined by IATA, is a full recovery by 2024. And we felt comfortable with that as a forecast up to a couple of months ago. But with the advent of the vaccine, even given the current lockdown scenarios, we think that recovery could, could accelerate. And we, we're thinking now of 2021 as like 2020 in reverse. So you think it's going to uh, recover um, just like, I guess, a, a V. Um, what about what customers want from you now, Donal? I mean, are they asking for deferrals of lease payments? Are they asking for payment holidays? Are they um, asking uh, for contractual breaks? Yeah, so Matt, I don't, I don't think it's going to be a V. I, I think it will be a, a, a steady recovery, but I think the recovery kicks in earlier than we anticipate. Uh, in terms of the demand, and I think that starts in the second half of this year. Uh, in terms of uh, what our customers have needed in terms of support, as far back as March of last year, um, airlines' cash flow diminished almost zero overnight, and we had to step in as a key stakeholder in the food chain to support them, and we were able to do that because of the liquidity that we carried on our balance sheet. So we were almost a buffer in that in that cash liquidity. So. Um, all of the above, really, is what we've been dealing with in terms of asks from the airlines, whether it's deferrals uh, of rentals, uh, forgiveness of rentals for periods of time, uh, cancellations or delays of aircraft in terms of deliveries. So it's been the whole smorgasbord, if you like. Um, and we've been supporting, we have 160 clients around the world. The vast majority in one form or another has needed some support and some continue to need support. OK, so you're talking to your customers about that. You say that the second half of this year is going to be key in terms of starting that recovery. Where does that leave, thinking about Europe, where does that leave summer 2021? Is, is summer 2021 going to be something of a washout, just like last year's? Or, or are we going to see substantial <clears throat> return, by, uh, return to business by that point? I'm not sure. I think summer 2021 in Europe uh, is uncertain and it's ultimately driven by the pace of the of the rollout in Europe. Um, so my gut feeling is that it won't be a, um, a busy summer on the airline side, certainly the first half of the summer, so the May, June, up until mid-July time frame, but perhaps in the latter part of the summer as the vaccine um, metrics start to really kick in. You know, the pent-up demand, Anna, globally for people who want to get on aircraft to see friends and family, to take a break, just to get away from the humdrum of Zoom calls is enormous. And of course, people have been saving a lot of money. And so there's plenty of disposable income to buy airline tickets, go to that hotel destination you always wanted to go to. So I think when people can, they're going to get on those airplanes in droves. Yeah, I'm really hoping that I'll be able to get to Mauritius by the end of April. Donal, um, what do you think about demand for uh, actual aircraft from the big two, Airbus and Boeing? Are they going to have to cut production this year? So, look, I think that that's, a, that's the big question, Matt. Um, the reality is there is excess supply of aircraft in the world market today. Several thousand are currently parked, not being used. And they will slowly come back into the system as recovery um, kicks in with the younger aircraft first. And it's qu quite, quite likely that a lot of aircraft will never return because of their age. Um, in my opinion, and we've communicated this very clearly to both Airbus and Boeing and the engine manufacturers, because it's an entire food chain, they should be in no rush um, to pick up production levels. And uh, we saw overnight that Airbus have indicated their uh, going to maybe taper back their expected uh, forecast from 47 aircraft to 45. I think that's good. I would encourage them to even taper it back to the current levels of 40. It's going to take uh, the supply demand dynamic for aircraft several years to get back into equilibrium. Even though the, the demand for people to get on aircraft kicks off in the second half of the year, there is a lag factor. 